Hey y'all, Justin Lakai, Catfish. I'm back out on the river today, gonna do some catfishing this afternoon. And where I'm at today is back out here at the steam plant. I know I've posted a few videos in the last couple months of me fishing down here at the steam plant. And, uh, you know, just to keep it real with you, I have done really well on those trips as far as the fishing goes. I've caught some big fish on each trip. And as far as just YouTube goes, you know, my average video right now gets about 10,000 views. Those three videos I've posted here at the steam plant have gotten anywhere from 50 to 150,000 views. So, you know, from just the, the fact I've been catching some good fish here to the fact that fishing down here puts a little bit more fold money in my pocket by making a video here, it's worth my while to be down here. So I'm back out here today and we'll see if we can catch a big one. Now, the big difference in today's trip than those previous trips is the amount of current flow. On those trips, we'd had a lot of rain. TVA was really cranking out the current flow down through here. That has pretty much subsided. The current flow is gone. I don't, you may not be able to tell from the video here, but the, there's just a light breeze blowing this direction and it's got me completely spun, uh, really cockeyed with the current here just because uh, the current flow is so light. So that's gonna play a factor. The water level is down a little bit too. It's down about two feet. I'm sitting in 35 feet right now. And typically, most of our winter levels for this area, I'm sitting at about 37 feet. So uh, down a couple more feet. But we'll soak some baits out here this afternoon and just see what happens. It's about 3.30 p.m. right now. And I'm going to fish till maybe an hour or two after dark this evening. So we'll see if we can get a big one. For bait today, I've got some crappie. Caught those yesterday. I've also got some bluegill. So I'll start out, I'm using a three rod setup today. I'll be spin fishing with my baits down just directly under me. I'll have crappie on two rods and that bluegill on the third rod. And we'll soak some baits right here and see what happens. This area I'm fishing at, I mentioned it in the previous videos, but right here in this area, it's where I like to fish. I'm right on the edge of that brake line, right where it starts to come up in here to the steam plant area. So any fish that's working their way up and down this ledge, they're gonna cross my baits or cross through my baits and then any fish working into the steam plant or out of the steam plant area, they've gotta pass through my baits. So it's a good area to fish, but uh, we'll see what happens today. I don't know how this current flow is gonna affect it, but all we can do is put our baits down there and try and see what happens. So I'm gonna get them cut up and get on here. We'll get to it. All right, guys, there's the first bait. There's that crappie head. We'll send it down. Again, I'll be suspend fishing, so you know I'm sitting in 35 feet. My baits will be raised up just a couple feet off the bottom. This water out here today is crystal clear. Since the current flow really slacked off, it has really lightened up the water. So hopefully that won't hurt us too bad. I typically fishing's a little better when you got some color in the water. But we'll see how it goes today putting a bluegill head on this front rod, send it down. Yeah, I don't like bluegill for bait. I know a lot of y'all love it. My experience with it is, you know, I get good numbers, but not a lot of big fish on it. But if I'm gonna do well on bluegill, it's probably gonna happen in the winter, just based on past experience. So water temp out here today is right at the 50 degree mark. It's actually warmed up a couple degrees from the last time I fished. This last bait here, we're gonna put just a, I'm gonna put just a small chunk of crappie. This is a crappie body section. And I cut the gut pocket out of it. So I'm just gonna put a small chunk on there. So we got a big section of crappie with that head. We'll have a small section here. And of course that small bluegill head there, so. We'll get it down there and get set up and uh, give it a few hours out here. In those other trips, now granted, you know, it's been a lot of time has passed. From the first, the first trip I was out here this year was in early December. And I had two trips there in December and then one earlier this month in January. And today is, I think it's January 31st, January 30th or 31st out here today. And so it's been, you know, a long time in between trips, but in those trips, all of them, the better bite was after dark, right there, a couple hours there after sunset is when the bigger fish moved in. So uh, I'm hoping today, I'm gonna set out here an hour or two after dark, so I'm hoping today the, the same 
same event occurs when we get some bigger fish move in. But you just never know. If you got baits in the water, right place, right time, your luck always plays a, a factor in it. But all you can do is put your baits where you think the fish are going to be. And for this area, right here on this break line of this main channel ledge, right where it starts to come up into the steam plant area here, this area right here has served me well. I've caught a lot of big fish here, not just this year, but in previous years as well too. So we'll give it some time, see what happens. That action right here, the line's about to start swimming there. Let's see if he hooks up with it. It's on that crappie body section right there. Yeah, I think he got hooked up right then. He finally got hooked up with it. We're gonna get the skunk out. It's been two hours of nothing out here. But finally hooked up. I think this lack of current and the crystal clear water has put a hurting on things out here today. But we ain't getting skunked. There he is. Fish number one. We can only get bigger from here, folks. <laughs> All right, y'all, there he is. A little blue cat, fish number one. And it's about, uh, let's see what time it is here. It's 5.30 right now, 5.36, so we've got about 30 more minutes of daylight. The sun will go down, and then uh, hopefully some bigger fish will make their way up in here, get active, and, and uh, come along. I'm just biding my time, man. That's all you can do. Keep your baits on good structure, and fish get active. They move through them. Boom. Your day can turn around very quickly. All right, there's another little section of crappie. And I just kind of cut the body, or the uh, gut pocket out of it there, and send it down. We'll, uh, Still got that head on the other rod there, so I got a big bait, a little bait, and of course I got the uh, bluegill there on that front rod. Getting action right here. It's on that crappie body section again. There he goes. Fish on. Fish on. There he is, man. I think that might be a little bigger than the last one now. That right there, it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Look at him pulling out. There he goes. Heck yeah, man. We're getting here. Sun's about to go down. The bite's about to heat up. Golly bum, he's pulling some drag now. Yeah, buddy. That's on that small body section of crappie, you know. We got, we're in January now. I know the water temp's 50 degrees, but I still like a little bit smaller bait in the winter months. I've done really good on smaller baits in, when it's cold. In the summer months, I like a big bait, but and I've caught some good fish on big baits in the winter months too, but generally I like to put out a small bait once you get water temps down in the low 50s, especially once it gets into the 40s, it don't hurt to have a small bait out. One of my biggest fish last year, a big blue cat I caught in February, one of the biggest I've ever caught. It came on just a small section of gizzard shad. You just never know. This is a good fish right here. I ain't got my light set up yet, but I think we're gonna be okay. I think it's still light enough out here to be able to get some decent footage of it. Old steam plant fish right here, folks. Old steam plant. Oh yeah, that's a good fish, y'all. There he is, man. Good fish. On the crappie. 
I don't know if this fish is hooked very good or not, y'all. He's right on the, he's hooked right on the top of the mouth. I don't know if that's, I don't know if it's hooked very deep or not right there. I'm gonna try to land him kind of quick. I don't like doing that when they're still green. I like to kind of play them out a little bit before we bring them in, but we might lose this one if we don't get him. There, bring him in. Yeah, you can see that hook right there. Right on the top, right in that bony plate. He's actually in there pretty good though. He wasn't going nowhere. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was hoping to find out here today. Some good blues, man. And we got us one. It's parked here right on this ledge. And you know, I wasn't sure with the clear water and a lack of current if things were going to work out for us, but we got one. Four trips out here in the last two months, and I got a good fish, at least one good fish on every one of them, so. It's puking up some water there. I'll tell you what, I got my board with me. Let me get it set up here just a second. We'll throw him on there and get a quick length. Yep, folks, that one right there is over 38 inches. Good fish. All right, y'all. There he is, one last look, and we're gonna let him go. Over 38 inches. Now he gone. All right, well, let's bait up and do it again. I'm gonna get that light set up. So if we get any more fish here after dark, we'll be able to get good footage of it, and hopefully, you know, some more fish will move in, like I said, in those other trips, kind of right there, at, right now, really, as it starts to get dark for the next couple of hours that's when the bulk of my fish came on those trips and uh, so I'm a lot more optimistic now than I was a couple of hours ago all right there's another little section of crappie drop it down there just raise it up a couple feet off the bottom wait on the next one to come along right here right here there he goes oh yeah oh yeah that's a good fish, buddy. That's on that crappie head. Oh no, he went backwards toward that anchor rope. Ugh. I think he come out of it though. <laughs> Goodness, man, he nailed that crappie head and swam right toward my anchor rope. This fish thumped it, but I don't think he's going to end up being as big as what I thought he was. I could be wrong, though. We'll see when we get him up here. It's probably been, I don't know, 30 minutes or so since that last fish. It's completely dark now. I've just been out here just waiting. Just hoping these fish are going to turn on. Yeah, that's a decent fish right there now. He's decent. I'll take fish like that anytime I can get them, man. It's one of them fun size. Let's bring this one in, why don't we? This fish, he's... I'd say he's probably 35, 36 inches long. I'll throw him on the board here in a second. We'll take a look at him. He's fairly thick for his size. Line up down there. Let's hold him up here. Yeah, that's a pretty good fish, man. He wanted him some of that crappie head tonight, and he got it. Just got one with the hook in it. Got more than he bargained for. <laughs> well, let's set him here on the board. Yeah, y'all, that one right there, he's about 36 inches on the line there, so I was dead on on the length. But that's a good fish, man. That is a solid fish. I take fish like this anytime I can get them. they always a fun fight on the gear I use. All right. Let's say goodbye. Next time, pal. And he gone. Well, let's put another crappie head on there. 
Let's see if we can get another one. All right, there it is, another crappie head going down. We'll send it down there and see if we can get us another one. I don't know if I mentioned it in the intro. Every time I post a video using crappie for bait, I always get these idiots that want to make ignorant comments saying, oh, crappie, you can't use that, that's illegal. Guys, I'm fishing in Tennessee. Here in the state of Tennessee, if it's called a rod and reel that meets minimal size requirements, we can use it for bait. That's true of crappie, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, any other sport fish. As long as it's, again, rod and reel, at minimum size requirements, you can use it. So, baits like this, like crappie, it's an excellent catfish bait. I use it when I get it, and like tonight, caught some big fish on it. There again, that's on that crappie head. That one swam outward. Yeah, buddy, man. The bite's definitely picked up after dark here. That's what I thought would happen. Sure enough, got proven right again. You know, with the water being crystal clear today and no current, it's tough conditions to catch a fish like that. It was cloudy day, so I thought, you know, that might help my calls a little bit. But the darkness is definitely, that's definitely what we needed to get these fish turned on. That's another, another one of them fun sizers right there. Yeah, buddy. All right. Another one on the crawl. Look at him. There, ain't like that crappie head, that bluegill up there. I ain't been touched, which is pretty typical. You know, if I've got other baits, if I'm using only bluegill, I'll, like I said, I'll get decent numbers of fish, but rarely get a big one. If I've got bluegill with other baits out, it's generally the other bait that's gonna get hit. I know that's different for a lot of you. I get comments all the time. People swear by bluegill, how great a bait it is, and that has just not been my experience with it. I wish it was. I love catching bluegill. I try it a lot just out of convenience, but don't often work out for me. See you, buddy. There you go. All right. Well, let's see if we can do it one more time here. I ain't going to spend too much longer out here. It's about uh, yeah, it's 7.56 right now, so I'm probably going to fish about 8.30, I think. So I'm going to give it about another half hour. We'll drop another bait back down there. Hopefully maybe get one more. All right, I'm gonna put another body section on. I know I've got one on that other rod there, but you know, I had cut the gut pocket out of it to make it a smaller bait. We're gonna try a bigger section here. Those last few fish there have ate the crappie head, which is a bigger bait anyway. So let's we'll put this on there and see what happens. I've got a couple more crappie heads. I don't really want to use them. I'm only going to fish in about another 30 minutes or so, so I'd like to kind of save those other crappie there for my next trip, as opposed to using a head and, you know, only using it for 30 minutes here. So we'll see what that bigger body section does for us. Well, looky right here, y'all. Looky right here. We're finally going to get one on the bluegill. <laughs> it only took about five hours, but my gosh, we're going to get a bite on the bluegill. This may end up being the smallest one of the day, too. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is the smallest one of the day. <laughs> Par for the course with the bluegill, though. But, you know, you got multiple baits, put out multiple baits. That's kind of my motto, because you just never know. It's always good to have a variety. Well, y'all, there he is. That little dink there, I believe, is going to be the last one. It's about 8.30 right now, so I've been on the water about five hours now. 
And you know, overall today it's been kind of a slow bite, especially there before the sun went down. You know, the, most of my fish here have come after dark, but uh, I can't complain, man. Slow bite or not, the quality of fish I got. I got that 38 incher, the 36 incher. Those are pretty good fish, and they're a fun fight. And uh, I've had a good time out here catching those. The crappie was a bait of the day for me, man. The crappie head, the body section, really outperformed the bluegill. I mean, that, that fish right there, that little dink, is the first fish that's touched that bluegill today. So uh, uh, definitely, definitely thankful I got them crappie on yesterday's trip. I had a fun time out there. I'll probably do some more crappie fishing here as we get further on into spring. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.